hello guys welcome to my youtube channel if you've not subscribed to my channel please help me do that so today i'll be making yam pottage that is native yam pottage so you can see how it's looking you would like to try this if you've not tried it before try this method and you will thank me later in this plate you will see it has plenty nutritional value it has a lot of nutritional value ingredients it contains a lot of vitamin k like when you eat it you don't even need to take any blood tonic for the rest of your life you understand when you, when you take it as your normal meal so here now i'm going to be using this vegetable i'm going to be using pumpkin leaf also known as ogo i'm going to uh, cut and slice it then this is my green i already introduced this green in some of my the other of my video it's also very 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 rich in vitamins so, so i'm going to wash and slice them so again and they are ready so these are my ingredients i've already washed and set everything blended everything and chopped everything chopable so i'm going to be introducing them one after the other so i'm starting with the father of the occasion which is the yam <laughs> this I'm, I'm going to be using this yam yes i'm cooking cooking plenty so this is my salt i'm going to be using crayfish i've blended it then here is my stock cubes then here is my blended pepper already blended my pepper then here is my onions i've already chopped it to the sizes i wanted and here is my smoked fish titus fish this one will give it a very nice taste so and here is my oil bean which is also known as oba or obaka so, here is my green which i've already introduced i've already washed it here and set it here and here is my pumpkin leaf i've already diced and washed it here and here is my palm oil so all this will come together so i first of all start by peeling my yam so i'll peel my yam after peeling i'll dice it to the sizes i want in this particular form of native pottage i, I would like to dice it bigger like i would not like to dice it tiny tiny so this size is okay for me so here now i've finished peeling it i'm going to just wash it and put in the pot i'm going to be using to cook it so here now I'll, i'm going to just put this on fire then add water that i will use and cook it you see the water is just almost the same level with the yam then i'll add salt then i'll cover and let it cook so here now just a boiling it's almost done so i added my blended pepper then added my stock cubes for the taste then after adding my stock cube i will just stir it and cover to and allow it to boil i allow it to cook again so that it will become soft so here it's been cooking can see everything is together now you can see so i'll check whether the yam is soft enough so here now you can see the yam is soft enough because you would like it to be very very soft and yummy so i'll go ahead and add my palm oil so i'll add my palm oil i'll give it a stir stir it really good so you can see the outcome of this you see how see the color this oil gave this this yam it's really yummy so i'll just boil a bit you see the oil have thickened so i'll add my oil bean which is my okbaka then add my chopped onions then add my smoked fish hey see how it's looking so yummy so rich like nutritious these have a lot of nutrient nutritional value 
so here yeah, now it has thickened so i have boiled it a bit just for the for my oil bean to cook a bit so i've added my crayfish then my vegetables to go in as the last thing just as usual so i will stay now look at how it's coming out look at our food is ready so you can see it's ready here i finished stirring so my green is the last thing i added you can make it yours with less vegetable but this local native yam pottage is normally better with enough vegetable just look at how it's looking so yummy so rich so delicious try this recipe and you will love it like you won't like to try any other thanks for watching